In this video, I'll be taking a trip down memory lane and demonstrating how to boot from a floppy drive with a real floppy and an emulated Amiga using the grease whistled USB interface created by Keir Fraser. I will be using this Raspberry Pi based emulation machine which I showed the build and technical details of in an earlier video. For demonstration purposes I will not speed up the video during the loading uh, to show the real original loading time. So I prepared a beer because this may take a while. This game, Lotus Turbo Challenge, used to be one of my favorite games as a child, at least in the uh, in the racing genre. I am um, using this 3D printed uh, joystick today with arcade parts inside. So hopefully. It will work. Cheers. It's easy to forget how much time we used on waiting for games and applications back back when I was younger and this was my main computer. As you can see, it works exactly like a real Amiga. One of the nice things with doing it this way is that I am able to experience uh, the best of both worlds. Um, it being an emulated Amiga, I can easily switch between uh, having it like this, a stock Amiga 500 
and an Amiga 1200. It is uh, uh, UIA uh, behind it all, running on uh, the Raspberry 4. Um, but with the grease whistle, I can get the full experience. Uh, I can relive my childhood memories. But I can also have the powerful Omega I always wanted when I was young. So I can easily change the computer into a stock Omega 1200 like this. But this is powered by uh, uh, Pymega uh, by Chris Edwards. Um, so I also have his uh, massive ScaleOS uh, setup running on it. So for the ultimate uh, Omega, oh, I don't know, maybe a 4000 with everything that's possible to put in it. This is the way to experience it. Do you recognize that sound from when the Amiga was idle? It used to drive me crazy. But now I quite enjoy it. Uh, as you can see the grease whistle and the floppy drive is in this nice 3D printed case. A short video this time, just wanted to show you the awesome grease whistle. Cheers, have a good one.